What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another gameplay episode here on Meta Bros. I'm Multi Potion. This is the Bro Metacracks. Hey guys, the Bro, the Bro, the Bro Bot, as I like to refer to you. You, uh, you do have more than one brother, though. So the fact yeah. that I get the There's label this. of yeah. the bro. Yeah, well, you know, the other ones aren't meta bros yet. Yeah, there's kind of an honorary, honorary meta bro that we mentioned before. Jace, yeah. uh, he's our step bro, and he came in for the weekend with a Napa Rebob deck, which he's was... the closest. Yes. The closest to being a meta bro. The other ones, well, we haven't hooked them quite yet. Well, they're older brothers. They have families. Yeah. They're probably not going to stop their normal life That's for nice. us. But there's hey. No excuse. I'll take the bro. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the bro. What are we doing? What are we playing? Uh, today, I'm continuing to play my Cosmic Aliens, the Kinderhook Blobby Boys, who did pretty good work yesterday. We had a great game yesterday. I did not know who was going to win that. And uh, I haven't really made any sideboard shifts. I thought about it. I could. There's definitely a couple pages I could throw in here, but I'm just going to play it again and see how it goes right now, because this main deck build is doing work. It won the last game. Yeah, I'm similar. I'm playing my Dark Spirits again, and I didn't even hit the sideboard. Yesterday was so much fun. I basically just want to try again to win without the mistakes. And yeah. I know you had a couple errors on your side also. Are you playing Dark Spirits? I thought you were playing Flame Spirits. Definitely wanted to say Flame Spirits okay. and okay. use the wrong word because the brain and the mouth don't connect. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Flame Spirits back again. I just love it, guys. And I know it's probably going to be completely different in a week once Wilderness drops. But for now, it is my favorite spell book. We're getting the best games on and off camera, except for that one where I didn't do anything. Uh, but hopefully we will get to do a lot today again and have an entertaining game. Oh man, I can't believe yesterday's. It was crazy. That was totally crazy, guys. The fact that that lightning in the bottle at the very end, I didn't do that math calculation. You showed me your spell book. Mm -hmm. You had to mm -hmm. because you used your uh, dark watchers. Yep. So you revealed you only had three pages left. Right. I saw the lightning in the bottle. I knew what you had. But my brain was so focused on beasties that I didn't leave two blockers. I know. And I think that when you saw the lightning in a bottle, you didn't quite think about the tribal war cry. Because that oh, was not at all. Page. And that's what I bookmarked into. And that's what gave me the power. to Yeah. Win. Yeah. Because I thought this little guy is going to hit for 10. Right. Right. And then tribal war cry and then lightning in the bottle. Oof. Whew. Yeah, Close one. it was awesome. So uh, let's elbow in. Mm -hmm. And while we do, if you guys happen to enjoy the channel and you're already shopping at Channel Fireball and you feel like supporting us, a great way to do that is use the code METABROS with a Z at checkout. It won't cost anything extra, but it sure does help us. Absolutely. And if you love our content and you'd like to support us directly or a little more directly, you can go to patreon.com backslash metabros with a Z. Sign up for any of those tiers. Big love to all our patrons. Merch giveaway, art giveaway at the end of every month. We love helping you guys answering any of your gameplay questions or helping you build spell books, whatever it may be. I also just started playing patrons every every other day or so. I get a game in with one of the patrons on Tabletop Simulator. So if you'd like to be a part of that, that's another reason to sign up. Also, we're asking right now, if you guys are watching the channel and you're enjoying it, we would really love you to hit subscribe. We're not usually one to ask that, but we're really trying to get to a thousand right now so that the YouTube algorithm pushes us out into the world. Yeah. Into the metaverse. Totally. Uh, we'd really appreciate that, guys. By the way, last month, what we gave away at the end to our top tier and raffled off a couple for the lower tiers was this chibi playground illustrated by my brother Moldy here. And we still have these left. If you'd like one, just hit us up in the comments below or find our Instagram accounts in the description description and you can get direct access to us and we can get one of these on order for you. Although if you're thinking about joining the Patreon, that's the best thing to do if you also want to play mat because we will give you your Patreon contribution towards the play mat and then you'll be entered into those giveaways at the end of this month. That is true. All right. I am ready. Shuffled. We've elbowed. I will flip. It is tails. I will take it. To take it away. Hopefully we will have at least two aura to begin and get another great game in. All right. Um, I will, I drop the page. Yes, this this will be playable. Okay. I will, uh, I will do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bookmarking. Uh, we'll place a flame aura in the arena and generate one. Fireball you, 25 damage. Okay, get my health chart going here. Normally I have been saving the fireballs until he has a beastie in the arena. 
so that I can have him burned in the event that he attacks. He will lose 20 life if the caster is burned. But I decided to just start playing fireballs anytime I can because I had a couple rolls where it only gave me one burn and I thought, why did I save it? You know what I mean? I should have just gotten through it. You're going to be burned five times Got it. and I will pass turns. So you count that burn down to four. Counting it down and I will bookmark a page and bring a cosmic aura into the arena and I will pass turn. Bookmark, awaken, place a spirit aura in the arena, generate one. Well, we'll generate this one and we will cast bookmark. Allowing us to draw two more pages and pass turn. All right. It down again. It's will. so cool to have a favorite spell book right now for real. Mm -hmm. Like I know I went all around the world trying multi auras, but this one's viable. Like there hasn't been many bad games. Right. Right. And not just against you. When our, you know, honorary meta bro Jace came through, we had mm -hmm. some great games there too. Yeah, that's true. They, those were some really good games. Um, that's all I got. I'm passing turn. Okay. Nothing. Bookmark. Awaken. Um, we'll place a... Uh, oof. Okay. Another spirit in the arena. And... Hmm. Turn. Okay. One of the nice things about playing against a spell book that relies on mostly spells is if I don't bring out beasties... Not a big I deal. I have a bunch of targets. Yeah. yeah, it's true. So I'll generate two, and I'm going to bring out what I consider to be a pretty safe beastie. The Purple Blob of Philadelphia. Purple Blob of Philadelphia is a BC alien. You can have three per spell book. He costs one neutral and two cosmic. He has 40 life points. He has stone skin, so all damage that would be dealt to him outside of combat is reduced to zero. He has two regen traits, so he recovers 20 life points at the beginning, at the end of every turn. That's my turn and his turn. He recovers 20 life points. He gets minus 20 life points if it's snowing, plus 20 damage if there's a meteor shower. This page gains plus one LP. If you're eating a gelatinous food, I'm not. <laughs> it gains plus 10 LP at the end of each turn. This page cannot have pages under it. That's really what we're after. He just keeps on growing, and he deals 5 damage with his attack, but he also inflicts Paralyze. So, Blob is out. I will pass turn. Okay, bookmark. Blob grows. Uh, what is his life points right now? 50. Hmm. I'm going to place another Spirit Aura in the arena, okay. and I'm going to generate... Four to contract Adam Ackler. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, Adam Ackler, one per spellbook, contraction cost four neutral, life point 70, has fleet so he can immediately attack, gets 25 bonus to his attack if the nighttime terror is in play, 25 bonus to life points if the daytime terror is in play. Upon contraction, choose light or dark. We're going to choose dark for this page's aura type. Lose the nighttime terra effect if you choose day. Lose the daytime terra effect if you choose dark. I meant to say light when I said day. I think you follow me. You choose light or dark and then you get bonuses, but you lose the other. Sublimation is the attack 50 base damage. If this page is dark, this attack deals plus 20 damage and inflicts scared. So in this case, I'm actually going to attack and kill the blob. Okay. Got him. Pass turn. Blob dies. I will bookmark a page. Awaken. <clears throat> Adam has 70 life points right now. Correct. Okay. I will generate two contract Fresno Nightcrawlers. Fresno Nightcrawlers are a beastie alien. Two per spell book, costs two cosmic aura, has 40 life points, has the spirit trait, so can't be targeted with attacks has fleet as well as Adam does, so we'll enter the arena awakened. Gets a 25 damage bonus at nighttime. This beastie can only be contracted if you're not wearing pants. I just have shorts on my fourth wall. I forgot to wear my silly shorts again, but that's still on my goals. Uh, when Fresno Nightcrawler enters the arena, you may reveal any number of non-cosmic pages from your chapter, then shuffle them into your spellbook. You may then bookmark an equal number of pages from the top of your spellbook. I am not going to do that right now. I'm just going to play Fresnos as they are. I won't cycle any cards. Their Cosmic Orb attack deals 50 damage, gets an extra 20 damage on Dark Pages. So I'm going to attack Adam for 70. Smoky Spirits. All right, you got him. Smoky um, Spirits ends combat, and if it's the only beastie in the arena, it cannot be targeted by an attack again. I will pass turn. Bookmark. Awaken. Now, those Fresnos, they are spirits, so I can't target them with Adam's attack, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Well, what we can do is 
Let's see. Their life points? 40. Hmm. Wow. So, oh, this is tricky. If, yeah, I'm going to generate one. I'm going to break my rule. I save fireballs for the caster. But in this case, these guys, I can't attack them. I can't get rid of them. And I don't want to take a chance. So 25 damage. I'm going to roll for burn. Okay. Hopefully we get more than one. We got three. So in the event that he would want to attack with his Fresno Nightcrawlers, they would die because they would lose 20 life upon him declaring an attack. So we are safe for basically virtually two attack phases at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, I will attack you for 70 with Adam. Okay. And yeah, I mean, hmm. Tricky. Not sure what to do. I guess. Pass turn. Okay. Going to count down that burn. Bookmark a page and awaken my side of the arena over here. <clears throat> I will generate one to contract a Kinderhook blob, and I will generate another one to first anniversary celebration on Adam, dealing 25 damage to him, nullifying all traits on all pages until the end of my next turn. And then I will lightning in a bottle, Kinderhook, and attempt to kill Adam. How much is Kinderhook hitting for? 45. Hmm. Man, that's exactly what you need. It is. Now I wish I would have chosen the life points. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you got Adam. All right. Adam dies. You got him, guys. Um, oh, I don't even think I read. Kinderhook Blob, Beastie Alien. It's a one drop. Costs 35. Costs one Cosmic Aura. Has 35 life points. Gets an additional 10 life points from the Stars Terra, also from the Forest Terra. Also 10 more life points if you're wearing any white clothing. I have a white t-shirt under here. You can just go like this, you know. Oh yeah, I have a... <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. White also, your black has white on it. It does. So True. you get it. And we did just discuss with the MZOs, we're like, does black and white clothing count as white clothing as well? I would assume yes. it's and white it clothing. say plain white clothing. You know, technically that Carhartt, no, it's kind of gray. Uh, yeah, it's kind of yeah. like Heather Gray. Okay. Um, the Kinderhook Blob's attack, Pasty Menace, deals as much damage as his life points. So the X there is his life points. He has 45 life points because I'm wearing white clothing, so he deals 45 damage with his attack. Now, if you reduce Kinderhook's life points, you also reduce his attack. Yes, that is the downside. This boy is amazing when you pump him up, but as you damage him, he just gets weaker and weaker. Uh, yep, I just got a pass turn then because Fresno's still burned. Okay, bookmark... Awaken. Oh, choices. So, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I guess. Hmm. What's more important here? Yep. We're going to generate one and fireball. The Fresnos? Yep. Okay. And then we're going to generate another one and... Pyrokinetic Blast. So okay. Pyrokinetic Blast deals 25 damage, and then we flip to see if Kinderhook is either burned or confused. I would prefer confused. Confused lasts for the entire game. Unla well, hold on, let me say that again. If Kinderhook is confused, when he wants to declare an attack with Kinderhook, he has to flip a coin. And if it is heads, then Kinderhook's attack will go as normal. It's a success. If it is a tails, Kinderhook will deal himself the damage that he would have attacked. Yeah. So I'd like tails here uh, so we can confuse Kinderhook. But if we get a burn, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, that won't count. We'll just grab another coin here. We'll flip a Kinderhook coin. Ooh. Uh, heads. All right. Nice. So Kinderhook is burned. And now we will roll to see how many turns. Six. Okay. Um, so if Kinderhook would attack at this moment in time, Kinderhook would die. True. I guess with that, hmm, pass turn. All right, going to count down that burn, bookmark a page, I will awaken my side of the arena here. Um, going to generate one and contract bookmark, allowing me to draw two more pages. I'm going to contract one and contract another bookmark, two more pages. Right on. Um, not going to attack with Kindy Boy, so I'll just pass turn. All right. Bookmark. Awaken. 
We will cast an aura prowess as long as we have two basic aura types in the arena, which we do. We can go search for another basic aura type, reveal it. It will be a flame. And since we did not place one in the arena, after we reveal it, we place it in our chapter. And then we will put our aura for the turn into play. Uh, with that, I will... Hmm. Don't have to worry about Kinderhook for now. But he could be power up redded and then he'd be a big issue for us. Or he could be tribal war cried, although you don't have any beastie aliens out there to boost him. So, all right, we'll play a little aggressively. Um, we're going to contract a Piazza Bird. So we generated the three flame, Piazza Bird's cost, one per spell book, 90 life points, has the flying trait, gets an additional 50 bonus to the attack if the Desert Terra is in play, also gets an additional 50 bonus to the attack if there is fire with an eyesight, which is why we keep this lighter right there. While Piazza Bird is in the arena, all flame spells cost one less to contract. Magma Blast is the attack, base damage 75, and inflicting burn. With that, pass turn. Bookmark on a page that we're counting down here. My Kinderhook, and I will awaken. <clears throat> hmm. I will generate two and contract a Dark Watchers. Dark Watchers is a beastie alien. You can have three per spell book, costs two cosmic, has 40 life points, has the spirit trait, so can't be targeted with attacks. This page also cannot attack fatigued beasties due to its arena effect. Spatial Curators is the power. You can fatigue Dark Watchers, reveal the top three pages of your spell book. If a Terra or Aura page was revealed, you may place it in your chapter. Place the remaining pages on top of your spell book in any order. Then Dazed and Confused is Dark Watchers attack. It deals 10 damage and it inflicts Paralyze and Confuse which is pretty sweet. Um, I mean, that's how you won yesterday. Because yep. you you hit my Piazza, right? right? I blocked with my Piazza, my other one, my Walmart promo Piazza, mm -hmm. and you confuse my Piazza, and rather than it hitting Dark Watchers, it took out itself. That's true. That is totally how it went. And then you lighting the bottle for the win. And uh, huh, I'm just going to pass, and we're going to count down on my Kinderhook. Okay. Bookmark. Awaken. Hmm, choices, guys. So I know the Dark Watchers are going to start helping him a lot just to get through the pages. He's kind of uh, locked out of aura right now, if you notice. He's only got two. Mm -hmm. um, and the alien beasties are relatively low cost, but I, that definitely slows the game down. Um, so I'm going to put 125 damage through to you. Okay. Yep, that was Piaz's attack with the fire, of course, within eyesight, and we've already established that. I will also generate three to contract the other Piazza bird that I just drew into. Nice. So this is the Walmart promo. That's my dragon, and I have to be careful because apparently I've blown like my vocal cords out in a couple games, going a little too over the top. Uh, will you accept that as a roar of a dragon? Come on, that's don't want you to hurt yourself, you know. Well, yeah, thank you. Uh, Piazza Bird, one per spell book. Contraction cost three flame, life points 90. So very similar. Has the flying trait. 20 bonus to the attack if the suburban or city terra is in play. Upon contraction, unless you roar like a dragon, destroy this page. Flame Spiral is the attack. Base damage 60. Also inflicts six burn automatically. If you have 100 or less life points, this attack deals plus 60 damage. Okay, in the arena, fatigued. Yep, pretty cool, all in all. Now, confused only applies to attacking, right? It doesn't apply to powers. Like, if I confuse your Dark Watchers, when you fatigue them, do you have to flip for confused? Oh, no. No, it's because... Just, it would deal damage. Yeah, there wouldn't be any damage to deal, so of course not. All right. Um, <laughs> I've got one more turn where I don't have to worry about Kinderhook. I mean, the Dark Watchers, I'm not afraid of, but it's going to help them get to other pages. I can't target them because they're a spirit. So, yeah. Pass turn. All right. I'm trying to play it smart, guys. Take down my burn here on Kinderhook and bookmark a page. Awaken. I will 
use Dark Watcher's ability, so I'm going to reveal the top three pages of my spellbook. Oh, yeah. If any Terra or Aura pages were revealed, I can put them into my hand. If not, I can put the remaining pages back in any order. Okay. So I'm going to do that. All right. So Lightning in the Bottle, and then Tribal War Cry, and then Philadelphia Blob. By the way, I know this is a little bit of a tangent, but I heard you read Philadelphia. You said Philadelphia. And I think that's probably the appropriate way, but we come from that area. So we say Philadelphia. Have you ever noticed that? I just noticed that today. No. When you said Philadelphia. And it no, sounded like there was way too much going on there, but we turned the aya into a ya. Fascinating. <laughs> Sorry. Fascinating. Back to the uh, game. <laughs> I'm going to play another Dark Watchers and I will. Pass turn. Okay. Bookmark. Awaken. I'm going to contract a, another aura prowess. So we will go get another basic aura type. And in this case, we'll reveal another flame that will go into our chapter. And then we will place that aura into the arena for the turn. And that's why I like Aura Prowesses, guys, because at this point, there isn't a lot of Aura left in this spellbook. We've gotten it out in the arena, so it's out of our way. So from now on, we should have pretty much hit cards that do something in the arena. Now, what do I want to do? I'm going to generate one, and I'm going to... Oh, shoot. That's not what I thought I had in my hand. Hmm. Wow. All right. I will... Attack and kill the Kinderhook Blob. Okay. And then I will attack you for another 125 damage. All right. Taking it. And then I'm going to... Pass turn. All right. Bookmarking a page. Awakening. See, now he can do that Dark Watchers things twice. Oh, but you'd run into the same three cards. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. never mind. Um, but I am going to activate Dark Watchers, and we're going to see... Uh, dig three and dude where is your aura i have no idea this is crazy we'll just put them like that um hmm okay uh huh i will what is the play here? you have a ton of cards in your hand i know <laughs> Know, and you don't have, like, no this is crazy this um, is the opposite of your gameplay mm -hmm. well hmm. yeah <laughs> funny i will um apparently just keep on thinking i'm gonna generate two and contract another Dark Waters. <laughs> this is the strangest game the spellbook could have given me. Um, but that's all right. And with that, I guess I will pass turn. Hold on. Are you sure you want to pass turn? Because you're not going to block with your Dark Watchers. Yeah, I'm just kind of leaving them out there. I, I don't think pinging you for 10 damage is going to be much. Okay, that's all good. I mean, it adds up because they also do poison, don't they? No. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I, I got those confused with, I think, my Bell Witch, actually. My Bell Witch does poison. So, all right. Bookmark. Awaken. I will uh, attack you for 60 damage. Okay. You directly. I will. I will block it. Okay. With Dark Watchers. So 20 will roll over, but at least I won't yep. be burned. And then add 125 to that from my other Piazza. Okay. Pass turn. Uh, one of the things that I've learned in MetaZoo, guys, is don't do too much if you don't have to. So, like, you he's... Roll for burn. Oh, yeah. He's stuck right now. Four. Okay. Like, his aura is stuck, and I know he's got, you know, beasties that I could target with my spells, but I'm not really afraid of them. So I'm just going to wait. Kind of like he was saying in the beginning with me. Wow, bro. This is bizarre. It's so crazy. Did you take out all your aura? Uh, no, no, I didn't. I just checked it before the game. Um, just bad luck. Yep, just just bad luck. Uh, all right, count this down. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, 
well. <laughs> I feel for you, actually. It doesn't, yeah, it's like this is uh, trapped right now. This is where I was a month ago. Um, generate one, and I will. Why not? I'll tribal war cry my dark watchers. Okay. And then. I guess I will just, uh, nah, nah, I'll do this. Might as well use the R now. I will, first anniversary celebration, I'll deal 25 damage to that Piaz bird, and I'll nullify traits. Right, so he's not flying right now. No. Um, but I can't attack him because he is fatigued. What do you, you, what? You can... Dark Watchers can't attack fatigue. Oh, movies. that's yeah. a Dark Watchers thing. Yeah. Wow. But I'm going to actually... Lightning in a bottle, you're a Piazza bird. So you can attack him? Yeah. And he's not going to get first strike because traits are nullified. Is that so? That's a trait? Yep. Of course it first is. Strikes a trait. So that, wow. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to swing with Dark Watchers. So I'll deal him 20 damage. And then let's see if I can paralyze him. Yep. Nope. Not paralyzed, but he is confused. And let's see if he kills himself when he hits back my Dark Watchers. So, um, He's at 45 damage right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm, he's he guaranteed confused. You don't flip for confused. Right. That just happens. Yep. So if I get a heads, Piazza lives. And if I get a tails, Piazza dies. That is correct. Heads. Whoa. Piazza lives. But he's still confused. And I think Dark Watchers dies. Uh, Dark Watchers does die. Okay. And then. Um, Yeah, that's all I got. Past turn. Okay. Bookmark. Awaken. First and foremost, we will... Well, <laughs> now, because this is like one of the things with Piazza Bird. Piazza Bird is not just an excellent attacker. As much as I'd like to continue swinging and end this game in four turns, Piazza Bird makes all my flame spells cost one less, which means that I can cast fireballs for free. However, I have four flame in the arena. So... I'm going to attack you with Piazza Bird for 125. Let's see if he kills himself. He heads, it would be a success now because mm -hmm. and tails, Piazza Bird dies. It doesn't count. New coin. Come on. Tails, he's dead. Piazza Bird dies. Yes. Damn it. The power of Confuse. Seriously. I think it's my favorite trait right now. It's insanely powerful. Okay. Piazza Bird is gone. I will attack you directly for uh, 60. Okay, I'm taking it. Past turn. All right. Bookmarking a page, counting down here. Awakening. <laughs> Gonna use Dark Watcher's ability here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Come on. You are Jesus, kidding. This is insane. It's gotta be like all my aura just sitting at the bottom of the spell book. Um,. I'll generate two and contract two kinder hooks. Okay. And I will pass turn. Bookmark. Awaken. We will generate two to pyrokinetic blast one of the kinder hooks. Okay. And um, I'm just doing this a little inappropriate, guys. Not nah, we'll do it right. Okay. We're gonna flip first. Is Kinderhook burned? No. Kinderhook is confused. Okay. Then I will use the other spirit that we generated to pyrokinetic blast the other Kinderhook. All right. And once again, flip. And head. Right. So burned. We will roll for Kinderhook's burn. It will be a two. Okay. So we can basically not worry about Kinderhook in his current state for one single attack phase uh, from the opponent. And I will attack you for 60 directly. All right. Now I believe you're Burn actually counted down because you were at one last time. Oh, yeah, you're right. So I will re-roll. Oh, no, I don't re-roll because it's an auto turn. six. Yep. Whoa, pass turn. All right, I go down to 370, and I will bookmark, counting down my burn. And awakening. <laughs> Going to use Dark Watchers. Will there be an Oh hey, my yeah. goodness, here it comes. Put an R in my hand. Um, I will put those back on top. Okay. And bring that aura out. Hey, now. And fielding. Um, 
We are gonna power up red. Oh. Kinderhook blob. Ooh. Damn. Because we've got to do something, guys. If he has four lighting in the bottles, he could win the game right now. So Kinderhook Blob right now is going to be swinging for... He has 125 life points, which means that he's swinging for 225 damage. Three lighting the bottles. He can win the game right now. Um, Not quite. You're still at 1,000. Wait, how much is he swinging for? He's swinging for 225. I thought you said he's dealing 125 damage. 225 damage. He has 125 oh, oh, life. Oh, sorry. Yep. Bad math. Got you. Um, yep, so I will... past turn actually Whoa. actually i'm gonna attempt to t- attack you with the, that kinder hook for 20 real quick okay no, me because i'm gonna lose 20 life so fuck that oh yeah past turn okay bookmark awaken you're gonna be sad generate one morpheus the kinder hook yeah, okay yep so uh morpheus just sleeps the kinder hook he will not wake up unless I target him with an attack, which I will not do, or one of us deals Kinderhook damage. And because Kinderhook is asleep, he will receive double damage and then wake up. I will uh, attack. Yeah, I'll attack you directly for 60. Okay. You're not going to block with your confused Kinderhook? No. Okay. Pass turn. All right. Bookmark and a page. Awakening. Um, I will use my Dark Watchers. Reveal the top three. Hey, now we're talking. The next 20 pages are Aura. Yeah. Right. I mean, not exactly, but yeah. I'd be okay with that. Um, going to generate four and contract an Enfield Monster. Enfield Monster is a beastie alien. You can have three per spell book. He costs one neutral, three cosmic. He has 75 life points. While Enfield is in the arena, it must be chosen as the target for all effects, attacks, and pages that can legally target it. If there are multiple pages in the arena with that effect, any one of them may be chosen as the target. So Enfield is out, and I will just pass turn. Okay. Bookmark. Awaken. Hmm, 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 hmm. So life points on Kinderhook here? 20. All right. Um, so let's just think this out. Let's say that I attack with my Piazza, and I'm going to have to attack Enfield. Mm-hmm. And then he blocks with his Kinderhook, and Kinderhook has 75 life points. Is Kinder- that right? Enfield has 75 life points. Thank you. I said the wrong thing. So that would mean that you would absorb 20, so we only hit him for 40. So I would need to deal 35 more damage to Enfield to end him. Hmm. True. All right. Well, first I'm going to cast an Aura Prowess. Go get another basic Aura type. We'll go Flame again. Place that in the cemetery. Put that in our hand. And then place that into the arena as our Aura for the turn. Um, yeah. Okay. I will I will attack I will attack him for 60. Okay. Um Yep, I'm on a block with my Kinderhook. All right, uh, so 40 damage rolls over. Mm-hmm. Kinderhook dies. Mm-hmm. And then whew, I'm going to generate one 25 damage to Enfield okay. with a fireball. I will roll for burn. It will be a four. Okay. And then I'm going to generate another one and cast New Beginnings. Okay. So we will shuffle our hand back into our spell book and we will each bookmark seven new pages. Sounds good to me. Hmm. <laughs> And Enfield is burned four at the moment, but I'm hoping to end his life. So, I mean, you can mark it if you want, but I, I have a feeling I'll get at least one spell to finish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. And I will generate one to first anniversary celebration, dealing 25 damage to Enfield. Okay. Now, that will remove all... 
<laughs> hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Wait a second. Hold on a uh, second. No, no. No, it happened. I'm saying that to myself. I'm not saying rewind. I'm trying to do less rewinds. I'm trying to let the mistake sting so I don't do it again. Because, you know, we give each other room sometimes to get the best games, but you got to have errors that last and scar you for life so you learn not to make them again. Um, all right. I will generate two, and we'll use this third flame here to contract Bell Witch. Okay. So, Bell Witch, Beastie Witch, one per spellbook, contraction cost one neutral, two spirit, a life points, a 30. Has the fleet trait, so you can attack or use her power right away. Magic proof, can't be targeted by spells, can still be targeted by potions and powers. Has a spirit trait, so cannot be targeted by attacks. 10 bonus to the attack if the nighttime or suburban Terra is in play. In the arena, roll a dice after awakening your pages at the beginning of your turn. If the result is not a 1 or a 6, this page must declare an attack immediately. The haunt begins as the power. Once per turn, contract any spirit spell in your cemetery. Place that spell into your afterlife. Bewitched is the attack paralyzing, dealing two poison and base damage five. So she is in the arena and this is this is sort of my chance to uh, use a spell if I think that would be the way to go. You don't have any spirit aura. I don't have any spirit aura. So I will attack you with Bell Witch, dealing ten damage and poison two. Okay. So that poison will actually add up because you lose ten life for two turns when you are poisoned, so it'll be a total of 30, and, um... 50, actually. Oak is two turns, right? Mm -hmm. That's actually amazing. With that... Pass. Alright. Counting down. Book. Oh, so Book. Bell Witch doesn't have her traits either. Nope. She's not... Oh, so she didn't have fleet, so she couldn't attack me. Uh, good call. Good call, man. Alright. Alright. I should have played that different. Should have played her first had her awakened because yep. she was in my hand and then you play that cool. oh i just locked myself out of doing something cool okay bummer hmm. all right we're gonna bring a cosmic aura in the arena and we'll use dark watchers to reveal top three if any terror or aura are revealed we'll put them in our hand but otherwise i get to rearrange them um hmm. so we got nightcrawler then tribal war cry and then another enfield coming just stuff to think about nobody has traits right now huh? well let's see yeah. well don't know if it's gonna work but you know it's our best chance i think well is it our best chance Yeah, I think it is our best chance. I'm going to generate one and contract a Kinderhook blob. Okay. I will also generate four and contract a Reptoid Ruler. Oh, wow. Reptoid Ruler is a beastie alien, one for spellbook, costs one neutral, three cosmic aura, has 80 life points, has fleet, so enters awakened, has stone skin, so all damage outside of combat reduced to zero, gets 20 damage from the city Terra and 40 damage from the stars Terra, has two powers, one of which is called alien invasion, all beastie aliens you control gain tribal boost until the end of turn, or hidden influence, target an opposing beastie and roll a six-sided dice. If the roll is a three or four, awaken that beastie and gain control of it until the end of this turn. If not, it cannot declare an attack next turn. So that's kind of a win-win. Yeah, I didn't notice last time it said awaken it. Hmm. Um, I'm going to use... Uh, yeah, I'm going to use that power. And I'm going to try to take control of Piazza Bird. Okay. So heads you take control? Oh no, it's a die roll. Yeah. Three or four, I take control. Anything else, you can't declare an attack. All right. Two. So, so you can't, I can't declare, declare an attack. attack. All right. Um, hmm. I will... I guess that's probably the... You're out of aura, and... 
Well, I guess if you like lightning in the bottle, your reptoid ruler, you can't grab Piazza again. Like he's not going to, he's, he's already locked down. He can't declare an attack. You know yeah, what I mean? Like I could, I could try to take control of him. But it wouldn't do anything. You can't declare an attack with him. Right. Well, can't declare an attack on the next turn. Is that specifically what it says? Yeah. Cannot declare an attack next turn. Okay, that's so still this turn. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Um, is it worth it? I don't know. Yeah, why not, guys? We're in it. We're in the end game now. We're going to awaken Reptoid Ruler and roll again, hoping to take control of Piazza Bird. We got a four. So you take control. Awaken him. Take mm -hmm. control of him. Yep. Um, now, uh, now we'll see if he has a Smoky Spirits. I'm going to attack Bell Witch. Smoky Spirits. Okay. Um, Piazza Bird still can't declare attacks next turn. This is true. The previous effect. So I will pass turn. Bookmark. Awaken. Okay. And I think first and foremost, we generate one and we sleep the Reptoid Ruler. Okay. So now we don't need to worry about him tribal boosting or... Oh! He can still... Tri he's still tribal boosting everyone, isn't he? Or is that an, a power? No, that's a power. All right, you have to choose one or the other. Mm -hmm. Wow, almost regretted that, but we, we, we stumbled into that and we're okay. Um, of course, Bell Witch is awake and I have to flip for her before any of this happens, technically. Roll. Uh, mm -hmm. At the roll, excuse me. So a one or a six, and we can use her power, but anything in between and she has to attack. So we're rolling, we get a one. So we can use her power. And we will generate one. Hmm. Do we want to do that? No. I'm going to attack you with Bell Witch. Okay. Yep. I'll take 10. All right. And two poison. Mm -hmm. And are you done with your burn? Is that one just hanging out? That's or the last you one. still have one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm not attacking you anymore if you're waiting for like extra damage. Okay. I'm going to generate, well, what is the right move? Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to generate, um, man, I don't know. Yep. Back and forth, back and forth. I'm going to generate four, and I'm going to contract Gassy and Thea. Nice. So this is really the end game, I believe, guys. Uh, and I've never said this right. It is not what I'm saying. Gassy and Dietha. Thank you. Yeah. Gassy and Dietha. Mm -hmm. Right on. Right on. Uh, Beastie Dragon, two per spell, but contraction cost, two neutral, two flame, life points, 50. 25 bonus of life points if the river tears in play. During your turn, you may contract spells that share an aura type with aura pages that you control from your cemetery as if they were in your chapter. You may only contract each copy of a spell in your cemetery once per turn this way. Gassy and Daitha cannot gain traits. Eruption, base damage 20 is the attack, and this attack gains... It gains! My brain has never realized that it says gain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was temporarily right. guys. Well, it, does it say till end of turn? Until end of turn. There you go. Just gotta finish the sentence. Sometimes. You see what happens? This is why I am who I am, unfortunately, or whatever. I'll show up with a whole spell book because you didn't finish a <laughs> sentence. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay, yeah, he gains plus ten. Until the end of turn. For each spell that was contracted during this turn. Yeah. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. With that, he's in the arena. Now I'm going to generate right, one. Does it say end of turn? It does. It really does. Right? No. What? No. It says this attack gains plus 10 damage for each spell that was contracted during this turn. I Wait, so that is a gain. The during this turn. It's Wait. Something, I'm going to have to ask the NGOs. I think they mean it to, to mean that it gets boosted by the spells that were cast during that turn. No. You don't get boosted from the previous one. Right, but it's permanent. It is a gain. So let's let's this read is, this. this let's this let's experience this for the first time without all my fuckery. Eruption is the attack, base damage 20. This page already read it wrong. Would you mind reading it? 
Just so, so I don't yeah. ruin this. And once again, I don't know how this would play out. It says this attack gains plus 10 damage for each spell that was contracted during this turn. That's a gain. That's a gain. It says during this turn. But that's that's talking so about, like, I got to calm down. What would be the difference between not saying during this turn? Like if we take away the phrase during this turn, it would be this attack gains plus 10 damage for each spell that you contracted. I that would mean that. any time that I cast a spell, he's gaining 10 damage, but they're exclusively limiting it, limiting it to my turn. No, they're limiting it to whatever turn you cast spells. So he is gaining it no matter what. But my question is, why are they saying during this turn? Um, I think there's, we'll, we'll play it the way we're talking about. It. He can have the permanent gain, but I'm going to have to ask because I think that the, the phrase during this turn is a limiter that they're trying to say, it gets it gains the damage that you cast during this turn, but I don't I don't basically I don't know why it says during this turn. I don't know why it says that either, but I've never realized it says gain. And through all of this ridiculousness, we now have an even more powerful beastie on our side. Or it looks that way. This is crazy. Don't, don't quote us on this, guys. I know he's getting all the Hey guys, but I don't know if this is how it works. Yet. Carve it in stone with your blood. It is official. Don't listen to him. <laughs> no, definitely don't listen to me. <laughs> Just having fun. Um, okay. Gas is in the arena. Um, I was doing stuff here. So this is what the aura status was. And now I'm generating one because I'm going to think very thoughtfully. I'm going to fireball you for 25 damage. Okay. So now Gassy and Athea gains. He gains. So I'm just going to say that he gained one, like plus 10. Oh my goodness, guys, this is insane. He's so much stronger than I thought he was. I don't know if that's how this works. I really don't. We're, def I, we're definitely playing it this way from now on until you prove otherwise. Well, we'll figure it out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think he's going to be the make or break of this game, obviously. Well, you already got this game in the back. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I think wondering, like, this is pretty much, we're just even thinking about going this? through the motions. I'm going to generate two and... Morpheus, these two. Okay. And I'm all out of aura. Pass turn. All right. Bookmark on a page, removing that. Uh, awaken. Oh, I played two more. He gets two more bumps. <gasps> Play a cosmic uh, aura. I'm going to generate two and contract Fresno Nightcrawlers. And... Hmm. He's, pro he's probably holding the smoky spirits, but we'll see. I'm going to attack Gassy. You got him. Nice. Gassy's dead. Um, I will give my Fresno Nightcrawlers tribal war cry. Mm -hmm. So they are, they have 80 life points now and they're swinging for 90 damage. And I will generate two and contract a purple blob of Philadelphia. And then I'll pass down. Bookmark, awaken, immediately roll for Bell Witch. We got a one, so um, she must attack. If the result is not a one or a six, this page must declare an attack immediately. She does not attack. Right. So she's awake in the arena. I will, hmm. I will use her power and cast Morpheus okay. on the Nightcrawlers. All right. And now Morpheus will go into the afterlife. I will attack you directly for 60. Okay. And six burn. Mm-hmm. And life points of the blob right now? Uh, 50. Hmm. Yeah, I'll generate three flame and one more spirit and then one more flame. So I've got a single spirit and a single flame left. And I will contract Father Sam. Yes. 
So Father Sam, Barbecue Revolutionary, one per spell book, contraction cost, two neutral, three flame, 100 life points, 25 bonus to the attack. If the daytime or suburban, nope, only the daytime Terra, 25 bonus to the attack, 20 bonus to life points for the suburban Terra. Freedom Feeding is the attack, base damage 125 and inflicting burn. Create a friendly barbecue token when Freedom Feeding attacks uh, 25 life point barbecue token beastie, a flame beastie that has self-destruct. So you can fatigue that beastie. No, so when the beastie is destroyed, target... I am so sorry, guys. Sometimes I hear myself and it is a, it is scary. So let's just read exactly what the words say without adding anything. Freedom feeding, 125 damage. Burn. Create a friendly barbecue token, 25 life point flame beastie with self-destruct and destroyed target beastie recovers 25 life points and loses all traits this turn. Okay, he's in the arena. He's fatigued. And now I will generate... One, two, pyrokinetic blast the blob, 25 damage. No damage, he's got stone skin. Oh. Go ahead and flip, flip of yeah. course. <clears throat> stone skin. Just wasted the spell, guys. Tails, so he's confused. Okay. We don't ever care, that blob's never going to attack. He's just an annoying blocker. So dumb, just wasted a spell. You need to attack the blob to kill him. Should have saved it, but I don't think it's going to make the difference. Pass. Okay, blob continues to grow. Bookmark on a page. Awakening. Oh, you need a confused, or no, you need a sleep? Bring in a cosmic aura. Yeah, I need a sleep. Um, hmm. Yeah. It's not looking good, guys. I guess my best bet is to attack Father Sam. Now, before uh, he deals damage, he inflicts his paralyzed. So I'm going to flip to see if I get to paralyze Father Sam. I don't. Now I'm going to flip to see if Purple Blob deals himself five damage. He doesn't. Five damage to Father Sam right there. What you... And, uh, yeah. I think that's game. going to grow. That's totally game. Yep. Scoot. Yep. You would pass and I would attack and that would be the end. Right okay, on. guys. Um, you know. Your spellbook had a slow rollout. That aura lock, yeah. I was holding the new beginnings from my very first turn. And I quickly went down to, you know, a couple pages where I normally would play new beginnings. But that's why I was saying I was patient. Because I, I saw that you were struggling for aura. And I knew that you would get filled back up. So I, I basically used that as, you know, a mechanic to keep myself ahead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but, yeah. I look now forward to... Sideboard. Continuing got this. Some, uh, definitely got some swaps to make here, guys. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to stick with this, guys. I haven't hit the sideboard really in days. I'm, I'm very satisfied with this. If you'd like to see these deck lists, we do post them all in the description below with the sideboards. Um, although, like I said, I'm not using mine currently. Just playing it as is. I think that's it, guys. Yeah. All right. If you're enjoying our content and you feel like supporting us and you're already shopping at Channel Fireball, a great way to do that is to use the code METABROS with a Z at checkout. Won't cost you anything extra, but it does help us out big time. Absolutely. And like I said before, go ahead to patreon.com if you want to support us more directly. We really appreciate every time somebody signs up. Shout out to the three people who signed up last night. What? Love you guys. Yes. You're amazing. Yo. Rewards and things Welcome. The way. And then just reminding you guys, if you stick with us for several months, I will contact you about a one of one sketch card. We got a bunch of those going out. This Bro. Week. I'm really excited. Oh my. He has been banging them. these out. They are incredible, man. Really and uh, although, you know, the original, well, I'm not going to give it away. We've got a lot of ideas, but we wanted some of them to be surprises. So uh, we're going to save our ideas for the end of the month when we do our giveaway. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, if anyone like a play mat, hit us up in the comments below yeah. or connect with us on Instagram or join our Patreon where you'll get your contribution towards yeah. a play mat and be entered into the giveaways. Also, if you've been enjoying this content and you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd super appreciate it. We're trying to get up to a thousand so that the algorithm will distribute us to everybody in the on the planet and in the universe. Yeah. So please... If you can, that'd be awesome. If you made it this far, hit subscribe. We so appreciate all the support, all the comments, all the likes, all the feedback. This is completely more fun than we ever imagined. And now that I've aged and he has absorbed my youth, <sighs> I will hit my side deck yes. and hopefully be able to take back with the Shang Tsung effect tomorrow. 
but we will see. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'm now younger, more uh, virulent, 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 and more foolish. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And with that, guys, we will see you next time on Meta Bros. Later, guys. Later, everyone. Thank you.